Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. Now, if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your business, then there's a number of ways you can do that. You can visit the, if you visit the description below this video, there's a number of ways you can get in contact with me. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom. I'll ask you a couple of questions to see where you're currently at with your business and see if we can, we can help you to, to grow and scale. Now, if you want to send me some questions, you can do that as well. My information is below the video, uh, below this video. Okay, so don't stay stuck. We do have a number of ways that we're currently helping coaches with their business. So don't stay stuck. Reach out to me and I'd love to, to connect with you to help you with your training business. So today I want to talk about evaluation session okay some people call it an evaluation session some coaches might call it a tryout a trial a taster session but this is a type of session where a client has come to you they've expressed interest to join your program and now what you're you're looking to do is you're looking to transition them into an evaluation session where you can qualify them if they are the right fit to work with. So to give you an example, what a lot of coaches are currently doing, especially the coaches that we are working with, some of them have this set up where they are either running the evaluation session for free. So it's a free of charge session. All, they, all the parent has to do is sign up online to attend. Or there's a $10, $20, $50 fee to attend the evaluation session. And in exchange for that, they get some specific feedback to work on. So the way coaches have, a lot of the coaches have this set up is the evaluation session can either be a one-on-one -on -one session that is shortened down. So if you normally offer... 60 minute sessions you can offer these sessions for 30 minutes it's an evaluation session so you can work on specific areas of the game where you can then see if the the player that you're you have in front of you is a good fit to work with now you might be watching this and you might be in basketball you might be in golf you might be in paddle you might be in american football but if you work with clients, right, you can use this in any sport possible. Okay, so all you need is you need to be a little bit organized. Okay, so I'll take you through the process. So a parent has either landed on your social media page or your website or they found you some type of way. They've reached out to you. They've expressed an interest in attending a session, an evaluation session, a taster session, however you want to call it and however you market it. Now, your job as the coach is to follow up with that parent. Okay? Now, what we normally do is we get coaches to, to reach back out to that prospect and get them on a 15-minute a call doesn't even have to be 15 minutes. It can be a, a 10 minute call. What we do is we get coaches to get them onto a Zoom call. Now, the reason why you want to get your parents onto a Zoom call is because you can be face to face. So it would essentially be like having an in-person meeting with them where you can look at each other and you can interact with each other and ask each other questions on that call. So on that call, it's not going to be long. It's about 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to ask the parents certain questions about their child. So some of the questions would be, where is their child currently playing at? Uh, how is their child's confidence on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, have they ever had private training before? Have they ever worked with a private trainer before? Uh, how's their relationship with their club team, with their coach? How is... How are they doing at school? So you want to really do a deep dive into knowing a little bit more about this player and about the family that you're about to, to work with. 
Now, once we've done that and we feel that, right, this parent is qualified now to attend the evaluation session, the next bit is we want to invite them. So the way we normally do it is we get coaches to, on that call, send them the information either via email or text message about the upcoming evaluation session. So either way you want to do it, if you want to do it where you work with that player one-on-one, it's a private session, but instead of doing it for 60 minutes, you're doing it for 30, then that is an option. Or you can get them to attend a group session where they can attend the group session, be part of the group, and you can see how they interact with everyone else in that group. Right, so you want them to, you want to send out the information either via email or text message. You want to make sure that that parent has that information. And then on the day of the evaluation, you want to send out a reminder to make sure that they're going to be attending. And then once they're at the session, there's certain things that you can look for in that client. So the way I normally do it is when I look at a player that's attending a session for the first time, I look at the mental side. So how are they mentally coping with the session? Are they focused? Are they engaged? Right? The social aspect, how are they socializing with you as a coach? Or how are they engaging with the rest of the teammates? Technically, how are they doing? So are they up to a a really good technical standard where you can you feel that you can work with them? Or do they require a lot of work? And maybe they might not be a good fit for your current training program. And then also, what I also look at is the stuff kind of away from the field. So punctuality, are they arriving on time to the session? Are they fully dressed? Are they in appropriate equipment? So are they in, you know, shin guards? Are they in cleats? Are they in long socks? What are they wearing? Are they appropriate dressed? What's the interaction you have with the parent? Is the parent coming up to you, introducing themselves, or they just dropping them off and driving home, right? So all of these things are things that you, as a coach, when you run these evaluation sessions, you can definitely look at, and they will help you to define whether this player or this athlete is a good fit to be in your program. So what I normally do is once we've done the evaluation session or the taster session, however you want to call it, the next step is we then follow up with the parent. You can either do this two ways. You can either send them an email with a breakdown of some bullet points of how their child did, or you can schedule a follow-up call where you get on the call with the parent, you break down your notes of how they did, how areas of improvement, areas they did well in, uh, and just other little key points that you might have for that parent. And that's when you then look to close them into your program. Okay, so Mrs. Jones, thank you for attending the evaluation session. We're just going to go through some of the points that I made with regards to your child's evaluation session. Are you free for the for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Yes, we are. Okay, great. Bum, 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 bum. And then you finish that call off saying, right, congratulations, Mrs. Jones. Like, I'm really excited to be offering you a spot in our program. Okay, the, this is the next steps you need to take in order to register and get signed up. Okay, so if you need more help as a coach, as a trainer, making your, your evaluation session process a bit better, more firmer, or you need help with actually setting up a process where you're getting a parent to book onto a a taster session, you're following up, what to say on the follow-up, what to look for in an evaluation session, and how to follow up from that parent and then close that client into your program. If you need more help with this, reach out to me. Again, visit the description below this video number of ways you can contact me, get more help, or learn more about how we help coaches in our Sports Accelerator program. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.